Welcome. Today we will be learning RIP, which is the routing information protocol, and we will be learning to how to configure it using the Cisco packet tracer. So open up your terminal and let's write the command command to open the packet tracer, which is sudo packet tracer. Provide your password here. Okay, now the packet tracer have been started. Let's maximize this window. Now, first of all, let, let's uh, take some generic computers. The first one, the second one. Now, let us take two routers, two generic routers. Now let us connect them using wires. Now we have to configure our generic computers and generic, generic routers. So let's first begin by configuring our computers. So go to desktop, then go to IP configuration and let's write down the IP of this computer which would be 192.168.1.2 the subnet mask which is 255.255.255.0 and the default gateway is 192.168.1.1 if there is any DNS server remove that close this and close PC0 for our understanding let's take us some comments Let's name this network as 192.168.1.0, this as 192.168.2.0, and this as 10.0.0.0. Now let's configure our PC1 which is our second PC. Similarly, go to desktop, then IP configuration. Now let's put the IP address of this PC, which is 192.168.2.2. The subnet mask, and now the gateway, 192.168.2.1. Okay, so this PC is also configured. Now close this, now we have to configure this router. So take your arrow pointer on this link you will come to know this is FA0 and FA00 so fast Ethernet 0, 0 now take this to this link between the two routers so which it says serial 2, 0 and serial 2 slash 0 for the second router and if you notice it carefully there is a clock for the first router so we have to set the clock for this router and let's configure it from here now so go to fast Ethernet provide the network gateway which is 192.168.1.1 so this is the network which is connected to router 1 so over here this is the network which we want to tell the router that it is connected to and click port status on so the link between the router and PC0 is now on now let's go to serial 2.0 as there was a clock over there let's set the clock to 64,000 you can set it to any clock rate you want and the IP address so here we have to provide the IP address of a router which would be 10.10.0.2 and this is the default subnet mask for this IP address 255.0.0.0 so yeah so this is done now similarly we have to do the process for the second router go to configure fast Ethernet 0, 0 now this is connected to this network over here so we have to switch on that network port status on right the uh, IP the gateway for the computer which is connected which is 192.168.2.1 and the subnet mask and now serial 2 slash 0 click on for the port status and there was not the clock wasn't there for this router so we set it not set and the IP of this router is 10.10.0.0.0 10 
0.3 and this is the default subnet mask so this is done now we need to configure it and let the router know to which all networks it's connected so we can do that by using rip which is a routing information protocol now let's add our network ids over here so the network id for a computer connection is 192.168.1.0 and click add so this network is added in the routing table of the router second would be 10.0.0.0 and click add so this is again added to the routing table and after every 25 to 30 seconds the routing table is updated and we would be able to see the results of it in quite a moment and similarly we have to do that for router number two and uh, for i just forgot to told, tell you that after doing this rip configuration it is better to hit save and then exit from this router now to router one now we will do the rip configuration by using our command line so this is our command line and we need to go to the config router mode so first we will exit from config if and then use router rip after doing this this we need to add this networks to the routing table which is 192.168.2.0 so in the previous router we had done that by using the config thing over here and now we are using the cli which is command line interface so other network is network 10.0.0.0 and hit enter after this exit then go to physical no go to config settings and then save so our configuration have been saved now let's check whether this is working or not now take a packet message from here let's first make the connection from pc0 to router 0 and here you can see whether it is successful or not it is successful from pc0 to router 1 it is successful again and now from pc0 to pc1 so which is in progress so this shows us failed so as i told you for updating the router table it requires 25 to 30 seconds right from pc0 to pc1 and now here you can see it is successful so after the routing table is updated this connection gets successful you can also check this by using the simulation over here you can edit your filters so if you only want to check the rip then uncheck all these things and then just Check, check it on simulation by playing auto capture and play so the packet tracer is getting a little bit of hanged right now here okay the simulation has started so you can see the simulation by clicking on this symbol over here and you can also edit filters and see the simulation of only those protocols which you intend to do so this was it for this tutorial i hope you understood this rip configuration in the packet tracer which was pretty easy thank you for watching this tutorial see you in next tutorial wherein we will be configuring the ospf which will be open shortest path first protocol for the communication it is also an intra network protocol as rip is see you then bye bye